here from Grateful Art and today I would love to show you how to make this menu with some chalk markers. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and next to the subscribe button there is a bell. Hit that bell so that you know whenever I make new videos. Chalkboard art is really popular right now and it looks really awesome in your house. I'm going to be using chocolate markers today in my video. I highly recommend them. I put a link in the description below to the markers that I use. They have all sorts of kinds to choose from with thick tips to small tips to metallic to fluorescent colors and everything in between. So what I'm using for this project is a float frame that I took out the glass and then I just placed a chalkboard panel that you can get at a hardware store and I cut it to size and placed it inside of the float frame. You're also going to need some chalk markers. You're going to want a paper towel. You're also going to want a dry eraser. I'm also going to use a paper and a pencil as a measuring tool. And you're going to want to wear an apron or something because it is hard to get these chalks out of your clothing. So let's get started. I like to have kind of what I want to create in mind. So I went ahead and I looked online for some fonts that I could um, get inspired from. You're going to have to give yourself permission to not make this perfect. This is about being free and letting yourself make mistakes because this will bring character to this art piece. So it'll be more fun this way. So what I'm going to do with this piece of paper is I'm going to use it as a measuring tool. And so I know that I want to have menu right up here and I want the menu to be, you know, pretty big and end like right here. I want it to be about this high and I want about equal distance from the sides and I want to make sure that I do this as straight across as possible but it doesn't have to be perfect and I want my M to be bigger than the rest of my letters and go up to about right here. You have seven days of the week so you're going to want to split this up so that it equally has room for all the letters equal all the way down here. And you give yourself Sunday just a little sketch, Monday, Tuesday. So what I want to do is I want to make sure that my S is as big as my other S because that will matter. All right, so that's just sketching the letters and I didn't spell out Saturday and Sunday or any of those things because that would take up all the room and you want this room to write your little menu for each day. And I'm gonna use the big fat white marker for the menu. Okay, and what you have to do is you have to shake these side to side. You'll notice even after you shake it that the color won't be right here, okay? But the shaking helps the color to bring it down. So shake it, take your paper towel, and then you have to push on it like this to get the color to come down. And you'll also need your paper towel to take off any excess of the chalk paint that's kind of getting crazy. Sometimes they, it gets to where it's overloaded and you don't want that either. So see how it's bleeding down? That's what you want. And then you just want the whole thing to have a color in it. Okay, and then see how it gets really bleedy? And you take this and wipe it off a little bit and then you're ready. Okay, so you got your font, you kind of got it sketched out, and now you're ready to draw on your letters. Now the thing that is most important is to be confident. And if you mess up, that's okay. So I'm gonna show you how to take it off when you mess up. Okay. So when you mess up, all you have to do is take your dry eraser, go like this, take your paper towel, you want it to be wet, and then you can take it off. And then you just let that dry. Then you can 
can go over it just a little bit to fix any mistakes or any additions you would want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this smaller white marker. One thing that we like to have is we like to have tacos. So I'm going to make this into tacos. And I'm just going to put this line and a line right here, a line going across. And this is just fun stuff. You find all different kinds of things that are fun to do for your letters, and you just play. Then what's really fun is you can draw a taco now and you can use whatever colors you have to draw your taco. This is where you can get really creative. So you can look for a taco. Just get some inspiration for your taco. So I'm just going to outline my taco. Do you like a straight bottom? and a curved top, this curves, and comes around like that. Okay, there's my taco. Put in some lines here, looks like a taco. Okay, so now I'm gonna draw in my lettuce. And you can even color it all in or you can use it to outline. You can also use lines like this that fills in space. You can go above this line and it goes right over it. Whatever you want to do. And then I'm going to put in my tomatoes and some brown in here. I'm going to have some taco meat. Put some shading in here. That's kind of fun to do with lines. <laughs> so see, you can get really fun with this. It's fun. And there is a black. So if there's anything you want to outline, you can always come back in here. That is a charred steak. <sighs> All right. But you can come in here and kind of make little changes as you wish. Decide you want to add something, you know. And then you're done. When you're done with your menu, Go ahead and put it in your dining room or in your kitchen. It also looks good right next to your pantry. And the great thing about this is you can keep changing it as your menu changes. It's super easy to do. I hope this video inspired you to make your own and I will see you in the next video. Bye!